story which is coming back closer home. The Jammu and Kashmir government, Korn Banega Mukhya Mantri. That's right. The future of the government now seems to hinge on the chief minister's post. The BJP very keen on the post. The PDP very clear it will not compromise on that. All this happening on a day when the governor has invited both the PDP and the BJP to explore possibilities of forming a government. The national conference has thrown its own googly, an unconditional offer of support, at least verbally, to the PDP. Listen in. It's a tug of war to rule Jammu and Kashmir. Will the PDP and the BJP agree on a union or will it be a PDP national conference match? A word war erupted over the national conference's offer of support to the PDP. While the game of political wills is on, Governor N. N. Vora has stepped in, seeking separate plans from both the PDP and the BJP on forming a government in the state. Omar accused the PDP of playing mind games with the BJP and clarified that this was a verbal offer to the PDP. We have uh, extended an unconditional support to the People's Democratic Party and uh, asked them to form a government and uh, we are ready to support a dispensation of the PDP. He is trying to derive sadistic pleasures, mm -hmm. you know, that's what he has tweeted also mm -hmm. today, that I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. How can we take the discredits of a discredited lot? Despite two rounds of talks, the PDP and BJP are still fighting over the chief minister's post. The PDP wants Mufti Mohammad Saeed to be the chief minister for a full six-year term. The national conference has refused to bow to the BJP's terms and tilted towards the PDP. But is this only posturing? The Congress has also opened back-channel negotiations with the PDP. <laughs> विधायक दल की बैठक उसमें भी यही मर्ज होके आया कि हमें सरकार बनानी है और बीजेपी का हमने मुख्यमंत्री बनाना है देखिए 25 हमारे हैं और लगभग 30 से 35 तक की तो हमारे पास सपोर्ट है कोई शायद इंडिपेंडेंट है बाकी लोग हैं और भी हमारे पास साथ कांटेक्ट में हैं इफ मुफ्ती मोहम्मद सईद साहब कॉल्स we will consider supporting him. The combination between BJP and NC is very difficult considering the issues of issues like Article 370, Uniform Civil Code, Babri Majid. We have offered it NC has also offered it. Now, we PDP leadership to decide what is for their state and the PDP will be good for their party. It's been three days since the election results have come and there seems to be no headway in the deadlock over the formation of the next government in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. If political experts and pundits are to be believed, it's going to take a lot of time in cobbling together an alliance in a situation which is as crucial as this. Until that time, the people of Jammu and Kashmir will only have to wait. With cameraman Tariq Lone, Shudaulak in Sanagar for headlines today. Okay, let me raise the big question. Should the valley have veto rights then to reject a Hindu chief minister in Jammu and Kashmir? The parties of the valley, National Conference and PDP, unwilling to accept the idea of a Hindu chief minister. That's my big question which I want to take to my panel. Joining me now, Manoj Joshi, senior journalist who's been tracking Jammu and Kashmir for years. Also joined by Shabnam Lohan, a uh, lawyer in the Supreme Court as well as an analyst who joins me from uh, Srinagar, Minakshi Lekhi, member of parliament and spokesperson uh, of the BJP is joining me and Mehbu Beg, a leader now of the PDP, remember he switched from the national conference, he too is going to be joining me in a moment. But I want to come to you Shabnam Lone, is it right for the parties of the valley to say that they will only accept a chief minister from the valley, i.e. a Muslim chief minister? Is this the way that parties should function. I have exact quotes of PDP uh, uh, MLAs and now I'm told an independent Rashid uh, engineer has also made it clear to our correspondent Shujaul Haq that only a Muslim from the valley will be acceptable. Is this the way uh, a government is to be decided? Absolutely not Rajdi. This is to be decided uh, by the constitution. Article 51 of the Jammu and Kashmir constitution 1957 straight away says that a person 
who uh, comes within the contours of what you should, uh, he should be uh, a person who has a state subject, he should be more than 25 years of age and uh, the other aspects. So it has to be decided constitutionally. I don't know why these political parties are playing these rabid games. Is it and political parties? No, no, hold me, on, hold on, Shabnam Loan. Is it political parties who are playing this game or is there now a communal divide which has been created on the ground which political parties are preying upon? That there is now an attempt being made between Hindu-dominated Jammu and Muslim-dominated Kashmir and because the results have come out the way they are, political parties claim they are reflecting the, the mood on the ground. Uh, you see, it was not the mood of the, uh, on the ground. It was, I had predicted on 22nd December itself, mm -hmm. that unfortunately, the Hindu Muslim, uh, the Hindu vote got consolidated in the Jammu region and a silent consolidation of the Muslim vote took place in the uh, valley because of the fear that was created on the basis that uh, BJB has many rabid uh, uh, people who are very communal. The conversion raw, Sakshi Maharaj, Sangeet Som, all these things, they have had a great impact on the mindset of the valleyites. But for these political parties now to say that we just need a Muslim uh, uh, CM, so and you are, go against the constitutional standard. I am glad you are saying wrong, that. Rajvi, that is wrong. I have no problem with having a Hindu CM. Okay, now go. you see, take this. For example, if Mif Mufti Muhammad Said wants to be the CM, mm -hmm. he will be supported by Hindu uh, uh, MLAs. What right. is this? Now, if you have a if you have a Muslim CM, he will be supported by Hindu MLAs. Now, if you have a Can Hindu we, Shabnam, MLA, hold on. you will. Shabnam, hold on. I, I think you made your point because I want to right, go to sir. the politicians at this moment because uh, Mehbub Beg, you are with the PDP which is in a poll position as the single largest party to take that call whether it wants to go along with the BJP. Please listen to what Pirzada Mansoor, your MLA from Shangu said on November 12th. He said there are certain parties which are trying to forge an alliance with communal elements and want to impose a Hindu chief minister here. Let me make it clear that Jammu and Kashmir is a Muslim majority state and can be only ruled by a Muslim chief minister. Do you believe that this is constitutional and this argument can be made at the moment? Why can't you have a situation where three years BJP, three years PDP? Why make religion? You have a problem with the BJP over Article 370, fine. But why over religion? No, uh, Rajdeep, you are quite right. I quite agree with you. There is no question. We are living in a secular democratic country mm -hmm. and nothing should be done to shake the foundations of this country, which are very deep rooted. I mean, the secular ethos of the country and secular ethos of the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, why are we doing all this? There is a single largest party. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a fractured bank mandate. Mm -hmm. We will go by the constitution. The single largest party is PDP. Forget about Kashmir, Jammu and Ladakh. This is the single largest party mm -hmm. because we are talking about the numbers. Mm -hmm. So, but it doesn't have the uh, required number, which is 44. Yes. So, uh, they will uh, uh, they will try to co uh, PDP will try to cobble up a uh, government a solid stable government which will deliver which will perform. So, so do you accept? Do you accept? Kashmir do you accept that Pirzada Mansoor was out of line in trying to suggest that a Muslim majority state can only be ruled by a Muslim chief minister? Do you accept that that cannot be the no, argument? Forget about A, B, C without naming anybody. There are people, there mm -hmm. are voices. You hear such voices all around. But, uh, but largely, 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 mm -hmm. uh, we belong to a uh, system. We mm -hmm. have adopted a system and it has survived. And we but, are lucky to have such a system. So know, can uh, I? nothing can be done on the basis of region, religion. Such considerations shouldn't come up and shouldn't come up in a state of Jammu and Kashmir. Because we Can have I? lived together, it will be antithesis to the basic ethos, to the basic idea of state of Jammu and Kashmir. It's a, it's a mini India, a sir, unity sir, that's all. diversity, and sir, sir, at all costs, Mr. We, Beg, we must maintain that. Mr. Beg, that's a, you know, that in a television studio, I'm glad you're saying it. My worry is it's not being said on the ground. I've just heard uh, Manoj Joshi. Uh, our correspondent has interviewed one no, of the independent, on. one of the independent right, MLA. Right. Just hold on, Mr. Big. One of the independent MLAs, Mr. Engineer, says we cannot be seen to be supporting uh, the, the BJP. We cannot have a Hindu chief minister in Jammu and Kashmir. 
you know the, the subtext of what gulam nabi azad also seems to be suggesting asking the pdp not to go along with the uh, bjp is that you cannot have a hindu chief minister in jammu and kashmir do you believe that this is now an ugly communal polarization which is being attempted by some elements that needs to be rejected see absolutely see the thing is that but one thing you have to recognize yes that the election result has shown up the divide between jammu mm. and kashmir i mean so you look at the congress party mm. they lost 15 out of 17 seats in the jammu region mm. picked up seats in the kashmir region and ladakh that's right now the thing is that they did not win a single seat in which there is a, a hindu dominated seat the congress i'm not talking of anyone else so the congress is being seen as anti hindu today See? the the, the valley parties are seen as pro muslim and the bjp is seen as pro hindu but so you know, is the state in a sense is this is this what is, what the politicians of jammu and kashmir are saying is it just reflecting this this ugly polarization See, on the ground it is it is reflecting that but the point that i'd like to make is that there is also pre existing political problem mm -hmm. in that state and yes. that has to do with the identity of the state yes and that has to do with an identity whose core is in the valley so now it is entirely possible for example mm. had the bjp won one seat let's say haba kadal mm. moti call had won mm. uh, a kashmiri pandit mm. how would that argument have gone you know it, it may have gone differently so i'm not so sure that it's so much about the religion pa uh, part of it it's more about the identity part of it and when you say identity many will say that identity is linked to the idea of religion in a way minakshi lekhi because the reality is on the ground that the bjp didn't win a single seat in fact you lost your deposit in 34 of the 35 seats in the valley you got all your seats in the jammu region on the other hand the national conference and pdp got the bulk of their seats in the valley to that extent now when you've got parties or individuals saying you cannot have a hindu chief minister and vice versa because one of your uh, 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 mlas has also spoken about the need why can't we have a hindu chief minister is this all getting divided because the nature of this verdict is divided and fractured no nature is divided because people uh, need to prove their secular credentials and i think the ball is in the court of congress pdp and nc mm -hmm. are they trying to say that in rest of the country they can be hindu chief ministers mm -hmm. uh, uh, and they are secular whereas in jammu and kashmir it has to be only muslim and you become secular by mm -hmm. practicing islam and not any other religion mm -hmm. i think it's it's very uh, I, i mean i'm actually put off by this kind of argument because uh, all these people have no credentials to prove secularism mm -hmm. on the contrary these are the people who are most communal and it is shown by the way they are speaking and the rhetoric is so writ large and they are the ones who have polarized the country throughout for 60 years of their rule and the families they come from the way these families have uh, run the administration in this particular state has mm. led to this kind of division for the simple reason that jammu has always been underrepresented or not represented in the policy making in the state of jammu and kashmir what 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 you if will i be surprised what if i were to throw at you ma'am that, that uh, what if i were to throw at you ma'am the prospect that you've got one muslim winner from the bjp abdul ghani kohli he is from the jammu region what if yes. it was to be thrown that let's yes. make him the chief minister would you agree do you believe religion should be the basis at no, all of I, making chief ministers I, i'm sorry i i have i have no problem in making mr kohli the chief minister mm -hmm. the point is ultimately somebody who enjoys the highest status amongst the mlas should become the chief minister right. and the mlas are the ones who choose their chief minister technically or the party must have a faith right. the fact mr kohli is representing my party in the from the region of jammu mm -hmm. shows i am not giving seats or